that is what it's all about the hsbc bwf world tour finals trophy today brought on by one of the young rising stars in indian badminton that is tan be ready and luri only 16 years old currently ranked 93rd on the uh, junior ranking scale but has also picked up a lot of very good results was winner of the all india sub junior under 15 and under 17 tournament so hoping to see a lot more results from her here on court two some great matches uh, coming up we're going to kick it off with the women's singles gregoria mariska tunjung the seventh seed taking on yao jamin who of course made it all the way to the quarterfinals at the season opener in malaysia last week that will be followed by the women's singles uh having jiao the sixth seed taking on form for week this is the first event of the year for the thai singles player in women's doubles, after that, it's John Kolfan, Kitty Tarakun, and Rowinda Prajongjai taking on Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara, the former world number one from the eight seeds here in India. Men's singles will follow that. First men's singles on court two. Number three in the world, third seed Li Shifeng taking on Koki Watanabe from Japan. And after that, mixed doubles. Yi Hongwei and Li Chia Sin from Chinese Taipei up against the Rehan now for Kusha Jahanto and Lisa Ayu Kusamawati from Indonesia. Sticking with doubles and uh, it's the Malaysian pair of Gozi Fei and Nur Zudin up next. They'll be taking on the informed pair of Liu Yu Chen and Uz Wan Yi, eight seeds here in India. And the continuing story of Li Zi Jia still looking, of course, with his, uh, for his chance to qualify for the Paris Olympics. Paris qualification period still on. Men's singles taking on Jonathan Christie, the number five seed, who was ousted early in Malaysia and is going to be looking for a much better performance here in India. Men's doubles will follow that to close out play on court two here. Uh, in the pre-quarters, Chen Boyang and Liu Yu taking on Kim Astrup and Anders Skarapras was in the fifth seeds, probably the most improved pair in the second half of 2023. We're going to kickstart their 2024 season in some style here at the KD Chalaf Stadium. So plenty of matches coming your way and of course pre-quarters. So everyone looking for the quarterfinals berth in the women's singles. The usual suspects are all lining up for their berths. Anse Young and Bei Wen Zhang will play. One of them will play the winner of this match. We're going to see the first match on court two. Dunjun versus Jiamin still. Tai Tzu Ying, Supernita Katatong, Haibing Zhao and Pompa Wee Cho Chuang. The other players in the mix for those uh, quarterfinal berths in this section of the draw, of course. Quarterfinals will be on Friday and, and of course, semi-finals Saturday and finals on Sunday. Uh, players, technical officials and umpires beginning to make their way out of court. said this the first of six super 750 events of the year french open the singapore open japan open denmark and the china masters the other 750 events So out on court first, Gregoria Mariska Tunjung. And here is Yao Jiao Min. Had a great run in Malaysia. One of two Singaporean entrants that made the quarterfinals, of course, in mixed doubles. Perry He and Jessica Tan also made the quarterfinals. out and ready for the coin toss 
and looking there head to head as you can see Chun Jung with a 6-2 lead last time they met was the red and black Kumamoto Masters in Japan back for her red for you you on the toss which side you want no, there is a Now three, as you can see, courts in action on this, the third day. So, Gregoria Mariska Tunjung, 24 years old, born in Wanagiri, and has really upped her game in the last six, seven months. She's been constantly dedicated to upping her game, and she's managed to do that. She's now a very, very formidable player to play. That was her first result in round one, Sung Cho Yun in straight games in 34 minutes. Pretty comprehensive for her, actually. Yao Cha Min, well, she's been on the tour and has also proved a decent enough opponent, very capable player, 24-year-olds from Singapore. Currently ranked 20 and has been as high as 16. And that was back in 2021 in December. Also played a Chinese Taipei opponent. Su Wen Chi, 64 minutes in uh, quite an epic encounter where she did drop a game. Now, this is actually a look at our umpire, Shamim Hassan. Joined by our service judge, he packed up. up. And as I was saying, this is actually a repeat of. A final that happened wow, some eight years ago now in, when they were both juniors and that was the Singapore International in 2015 which was actually won by Gregoria in straight games 22-20, 21-15 they have both had a great progression through the those years of course Ready to play. Well, as I've said, it's going to be a classic in terms of how these players have progressed over the eight years since they last met. Well, in that final, they've, of course, met eight times since then. And it's, I think it has to be fair to say that Tunjung has really stepped up. And this is, she's going to be going into this match as the favorite. But after that wonderful performance in Malaysia, well, who's to uh, discount Yao Jamin? It is still a very important phase and gentlemen, of the year. On my right, Yo Ziamin, Singapore. And on my left, Gregoria Marsika Tanzung, Indonesia. Gregoria Marsika Tanzung to serve. Love all. So, Gregoria Play. getting us underway. One love. And that is one of the things that we're going to have to look out for in this match. We want to keep a compact game, cut down on those unforced errors, play out the rallies as best they can, look for that opportunity, be patient as well. well that's a wonderful shot by Tunjung. One of the hallmarks of her game, in fact. Love. Acute angle drop shots at the net. That one played to perfection. Out. A little bit long. Could be down to the tiny bit of drift over. that's been identified in this one, smallish arena. Slow conditions here in India, and that's going to, of course, play into 
rally-based attacks, and that's exactly what we've seen in these first three points. So far, three, one. Now let's welcome our players on court three. Mix doubles, Chen Xing, Zhang Shi, China. Jam in with a bit of control in this point, but Tunjung responding admirably. Brisk conditions up here in India. Of course, it is winter time. So it's about 15 degrees. Ambient temperature, and of course, that means a lot less humidity. That's that drier atmosphere. Those colder temperatures that slows things down. Five, one. But some good winners being executed here by Tunjung so far. Service over. Two, five. Service now back with Yao Jiamin. Out. Just push that wide. Service over. Six. Tunjun confidently pushing to the back wall. Well, she's missed hit that one. Service over. Three, six. I'm sure the players will be a bit happy that they actually can play with the backcourt this time. Of course, in that opening event in Malaysia, some strange drift patterns, but really both back lines, near and far, essentially out of bounds for a lot of players. Four, and it six. took great adjustment by the top players as it moved into the finals weekend. Try and get any real reward from the backcourt. And talking of backcourt rewards, Seven, that five, was a wonderful six. lift from Yao Jiamin, who has closed up that 5-1 deficit. And now ties it up. Wonderful six, stuff. All. Seven, six. No titles for Jiamin last year, but she did have a pretty healthy return rate in terms of making the latter end of tournaments. Quarter finalists on a number of occasions Japan Masters, Australia, Thai Open, Orleans. Also picked up a third place finish in Spain. This time last That's year at the India work. Open, it was. Seven. A oh. First round exit for her. So she's already up that. The question is whether she can really oh. step up here and push into a second consecutive quarterfinal. Eight, seven. For 2024. Right now, in Nine, that far side of the court, seven. play well for it. Remember, Tunjung 6 1 up. Start of this game. Late take there. And again, pushing it long. Kane, seven. So, this first 
phase of action in game one. Davis over. Eight. Ten. Almost coming to a close. Just on the brink of the mid-game interval. Love is over. 11 8 interval. And she goes in ahead. 11 8. seconds go to 20 seconds so back on court second phase of game one you mean 11 8 play also a quarter finalist in Malaysia and last year was out in the second round. 12, 8. Uh, did also pick up two important titles last year. That was in Spain and Japan. That was over. 9, 12. Charmian doing a fantastic job here of giving as good as she's getting right now. Ten, twelve. And as you can see, a bit of consternation. Early Jalulin's face, coach. That's wonderful accuracy from Tunjung. 11, 12. It's tight. There's that wonderful footwork from Tunjung as well. Steps into the shot. side to side and in the end it's Jamin that pushes it wide both well, players fighting for that advantage oh. that is over 13, 12. Yao Jamin still forcing the issue wherever she can. But not that time. That's absolutely on the crosshair. Over. 13, all. Oh, she's finding a lot of accuracy on that left side. And look at that power. Wow. 14, 13. Again, steps forward. Keeping a very high line. 15, 13. Tujun. Just see her here. She's at the back. Then she just moves forward. 
fires that into the corner. Service over. 14, 15. If you're going to get that footwork just right, you want to make sure that the footwear is on tight. 14, 15. Well, left side looking good in terms of accuracy, 15. right side. Oh. Seems to be a little bit wide, if not, in fact, a little bit. It's being generous. It's been very wide on that side. That was just a very difficult area to be re retrieving that shot. Tunjung edges 16. into the lead. Very tight in this contest. One point in it. Shot by Jamin, well responded by Tunjung. Well, that could be rally of the match for me so far. Time is over. 16, all. And we're just going to have to keep an eye on that elbow. Tunjung has has become a familiar sight recently. Very taped up. That right hand, that playing hand. As you can see, just checking the support. 16, all. What? 16 all. Couldn't ask for a better scoreline in this opening game. The question is which of these players are going to step up and snatch this game? Well, playing into that left side. And 17. As expected, 16. breaks the plane of the net. As she moves forward, just a little bit too enthusiastic on this final shot. Looks a little frustrated. That's an important point to concede. 17 16 on serve. Yeah. 18 16. Oh, what a time. Concede a two point. Deficit. Oh, wow. That seemed to hang on the net for so an eternity. But she'll 17, take it. 18. 18. All. Oh, very errant shot there from Xiaomin. Went delicate, didn't work out. Nineteen, eighteen. This will be a better view of it. Oh, we've got to see the build up. Ooh, out of position for Jamin. She's scrambling. Oh, she's pushed it long. Lucky break that for the so Singaporean. Bad. 19. Totally oh. caught out. 
on that left side deep. Oh, well, that's just class. Service over. 20. Game so, point. The first 19. game point. And it falls to Gregorian Briska Tunjung. Over. He kind of expected 20. it. Oh. This was most probably on the cards the way both these ladies have been playing. There's extra points in this first game. First to two or first to 30. And again, another worrying just little look 20. at uh, her tape oh. this time on her ankle for Tunjung. Challenge Gregoria coming. Marsica challenges call out. First challenge of the day on court two. Well, no luck that time. Challenge unsuccessful. So after a game point for Tunjung, remaining. Yeah, jump in with her first chance to steal this first game. Play. Tunjung has to be careful. It's a mistake that keeps over. it alive. 21 all. 21 all. Well, you'd have to say that this has been a great victory for the Singaporean player who's been, as I said, in good form already this 2024. Well, 22 has taken the wall number seven to the limit. Oh, again, called out. Oh, she's pushed that wide. Two clear-cut opportunities over. for Tunjung to take this game. 21. And they've both gone begging. Needs to be a little steeper on that shot, that kill. To come in with a second game point opportunity. Service over. And again, that's gone back. 22 all. Oh, that's wonderful stuff. Just took all the pace off that. 22. It's another game point from right. The fourth for Tunjung. She's already stretching Jamin by pulling her back and forth, but that's a huge stretch by that Tunjung. 23, Lanjat. All. Well, I do hope she didn't stretch or strain anything. That's a pretty spectacular slide. There's on court. Yo. Well, which way is it going to go? 23 all. It's 
switch up by Tunju. Charmin scrambling to get to these. It's another 24, game point opportunity. Game. And it's a mistake into the front first court that gives her the first game. Your Ziamin, 25, 23. Four to twenty seconds. Four to twenty seconds. So, back on court. Second game. For Love game on. two. And I think there's going to be a few people that would have been a bit surprised at the tenacity and aggression of Yao Jamin. But as I said earlier, Play. if anything was learnt from the Malaysia Open last week, it's that Yao Jamin has got her shooting hat on and is One. proving it Love. again here. First game win for her. Tunjung now on the slightly better side of the court. Very little drift in this small arena, but still significant enough. And let's see how she composes herself from that side of the court. Certainly seems to be hitting a bit more freely. Love so far. One. All. Three sixty. Pirouette from Jamin settles nicely and fires mm -hmm. off. The task win, I think. Love it so far. Popped a string Two, there. One. Yes, she did. Quick. Beautiful little drop into front court, though. Yo. This would be two, one. A really spectacular start to 24 if she can secure the second game. Nice change of attack angle from Tunjung. So well. Two, all. Three, 
two. Well, as we said, if she does manage to secure the second game, her reward, if you can call it that, uh, might be facing Ansa Young, who's in fantastic form, picking up her first title already last week, and in some style as well. Uh, you could also say, conversely, that Hansi Young is the exact player Three. that everybody wants to face right now because it's a real litmus test as to where you are as a singles player when you play someone who is as complete, I guess you could say right now, as the South Korean. Three. Meanwhile, another great rally here has unfolded, and that's a good, vicious little Four. dip from Tun Jung. Two. Lift serve comes back with some power. Oh, five, two. How about that for accuracy? It's over three, five. So again, jump in after going behind at the start of the game. The chance to pull it back early. It's over six, three. Yeah, Gloria. Great play from Jamin. Good hustle so in mid-court. Four, six. Just does not want Tunjun pulling away on the scoreline. But having a bit of trouble with the so range of her drop shot. Seven, four. That's certainly where she's been losing a few points. That's wonderful. Challenge Tanjung challenges all in. From up here, and we've got a pretty good commentary perch. I think that might very well be edge of the line. Turned out it was all feathers on the front of that shuttle. Eight, four, was and you. way out. Great idea, though, by the Singaporean. Play. Five, eight.
another great response by Xiaomin, right at the key Please. part of that rally. Eight. That was the shot right there. Just a good angle on it. Good downward direction. Seven. He's doing it again. Eight. Now jump in. A couple of good points. He's always managed to keep any deficit or lead around about one or two points. And that's... Well, I mean, obviously, it's great. You're going to have a five, six-point lead, but... If you're two points behind, as you Eight. can see there, all oh. means a good burst of energy and speed. And you've tied it up. It's what she did in the first game. And now she's repeated the feat in the second. It's a stretch for that one, Jamin, but she's. Back where she's supposed to be. That's absolutely wonderful. Nine, eight. What a return. That was so well. So much Nine. racket skill there oh. on show. By Tunjung. That was so well. Yeah, I mean. Ten, nine. Reads that lift serve to a T. in getting to anticipate these attacks very well Sun Jung it's a little bit obvious at the net 11 nine, so for the seven. second mid game interval and once again it's Yao Chao Min Eleven, nine. So, play. Back on court for the all important second phase of game two. It's make or break for Tunjung. She wants to engineer a comeback. Oh. It's got to start right here. Five is over. Ten, eleven. Thanks for jump in. Well, this is another fantastic performance from her. Her court coverage has been excellent, both sides of the court. And she's, more importantly, soaked up and weathered up the storm. And Tunjung is trying to engineer a couple of mistakes there on the left side. 11, all. But she's not going to be too concerned about that because that first game in the bag. She just needs 10 points, and it's the quarterfinals. And more importantly, second consecutive quarterfinal of the year. Oh, that's great. Touch right. Jump in. Couldn't finish it off. 12, 11. And what's important for Jump in here is she has to be patient.
the server 12 all and sure should be happy just to keep pace with that score line she's been playing very very well There in time. 13. She can be happy with this output for sure. While it was 10 points needed, now it's eight. Oh, what a winner! Confidence 14, soaring. 12. Jumps into that cross court. Now, for certain storm clouds brewing, and Gregorius Minor, another great pickup by Jamin. <laughs> Opening up, pushing 15. the points. Wow. Biggest lead she's had over Gregorius Tunjung. Late take, and that's going to be killed, and it is. 16, 12. Well, now those storm clouds are getting very dark indeed. 16, 12. <laughs> Leaving it, that's a straight run of points. 17, 12. Oh, picked up again, the right place at the right time, and it has been unanswered 18, points. 12. For Yao Jamin. That flash of brilliance from Tunjung. So far. Extraordinary 13, technique on the 18. backhand side. But still, five points back. Needs a run off this serve. That is over. She just 19, keeps 13. losing those key points. Well, it was that drop shot that gave her the advantage. But too high there. And Tunjun pulls over. another point back. 14, 19. take on that serve jump in trying to hustle this point oh, she's certainly doing much better now on the front court maybe had a few troubles on that drop point, point but six 14. match points for Yao Jamin and all of a sudden it's crunch time for Tunjung Gem. and that's it Amazing. 21-14. And Yao Jamin with a spectacular performance in match the second, but really Ziamin was throughout the 25, match. 23, and she makes 21, her second 14. straight quarterfinal in 2024. 25-23, 21-14 in 38 minutes and she's knocked out the seventh seed
Thank you. So, here on court two, after a spectacular performance by Yao Jia Min, 40 minutes, it's another women's singles match. It's Hei Bing Zhao, the sixth seed, taking on Tuan Pao Cha Chu Wang. First event for Tuan Pao this year. Didn't take part in the Malaysia Open, and as you can see, Yao Jia Min already through the sim, the quarterfinals, and Tai Su Ying also through after a comprehensive win over Super Nida Katadong from Thailand. So here she is, Hei Bing Chao, one of the leading candidates for the second spot for China at the Paris Olympics. It's Hei Bing Chao and Han Yue.